Hello everyone, this is Mumbo and welcome to day 6 of the Redstone Advent Calendar. In this one we are going to take a look at the 4 wide diagonal door. Now I have to say, I've never actually done a diagonal door on my channel before. All of my doors have been completely straight on and I thought I'd get in with the business of this sort of thing. I really like the way that it looks and I'm pretty happy with my design, so let's take a closer look. Now I know there's probably a few of you out there who are sat there thinking, I have no idea where I would use a diagonal door. Straight doors work perfectly fine, those are the ones that I'm going to use and nothing you do can change my mind and to be honest with you, I was pretty much the same. The reason that I never did a diagonal door on my channel before was because there was nowhere that I could think of that they actually looked any good. But hopefully, this is about to change your mind because we flick this lever here and as you can see, our two nether portals are revealed and I have to say, that looks absolutely awesome. This is something that I definitely want to build on Hermitcraft. I just think it looks epic. Those two nether portals being revealed like that. And of course, if you take a look around the back, you can see that all of the redstone is extraordinarily simple. Really is no excuse not to build this one. And I absolutely love it. So as always, there is a well download down in the description if you do want to check this thing out, play around with it yourselves, or perhaps get a closer look at the mechanism. Once again, I do just want to mention that I'm doing this Redstone Advent Calendar in collaboration with Exumavoid, and if you want to check out his Advent Calendar video today, then I'll put a link to that one on the screen and also down in the description. But let's crack on, and I'll show you how to build this thing. So you want to get things started with some form of diagonal wall. You can see this is my diagonal wall, and the first thing that you want to do is you want to place three slime blocks going up like this and three slime blocks going up like that with one block in between them. I guess you could say one diagonal block right there. Then what we're going to do is we're going to start chucking in all of our piston bits and pieces. So you want to place a couple blocks out like this, then a sticky piston there and a sticky piston right there. Then you want to do the same thing on the other side. So a couple blocks out like that, a sticky piston right there and a sticky piston right there. Then we're just going to place an immovable object underneath this piston right here. You want to place a block down at the bottom with a repeater set to two ticks. That's going to be running out into a block with redstone dust on top of all of these. And that is actually all of the redstone circuitry done for that side. You just need to repeat the same thing on the other side. So that is just a block down at the bottom there. A repeater set to two ticks running up into a block like this. And then those blocks are going to run around like that with redstone dust on top of all of those. And as you can see here, if we power this, we get ourselves our attraction. So we can do that on both sides. But of course... We have now got to link these two things up so that they're nice and in sync. Now, the way that I'm going to do this is using blocks and redstone torches. So I'm just going to place a block and a redstone torch right there. That will power all of that. And a block there with a redstone torch like this. Then I'm going to run the blocks out like this and basically connect the two up using a block in the middle with redstone dust running into those blocks. And that's everything done. That seriously is everything done. So if we flick this lever, you can see we got our opening and we flick it again, we get our closing. Now what we have to do is fill in our floor area, which we can do just like this. One thing that I will just mention though, is of course you have to be careful of immovable objects because these things use slime blocks. So for example, this block here and this block here are going to have to be immovable because they're going to be in contact with the slime blocks. But other than that, that is everything completed. So I hope that you enjoyed today's tutorial. If you did, please let me know by hitting that like button. If you really loved it, then make sure to subscribe. But thanks for watching, guys. This has been Mumbo, and I'm out. I'll see you later.